Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWorld.com, and today we have the Hapag HD PVR 2. This is the new HD PVR, it's a gaming PVR, and it's got a HDMI out from Hapag, which we well know. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. This is an unboxing and a hardware setup. This is not a review, so we're going to unbox this. We're going to actually show you how to connect it, but basically this will uh, help you record your, your Xbox 360 gaming and your PS3 gaming. You can actually connect both at the same time, and record so let's go ahead open it up um, see packaging here let's look at this see what else we have in here Ooh. there we go so we're gonna start taking stuff out and of course we will tell you what each and everything is of course our here there's nothing else in the box all right set the part aside first of all this uh, I believe is your um, Power AC power adapter, DC power adapter, AC DC, 100 to 240 volts. So this is international. It will work anywhere um, because it covers those voltage ranges uh, in there. Take that out. Put that for a second. Show you. Very simple. Nothing uh, too special there. Sorry, it's a lot of stuff falling around the place. You've got a set of HDMI cables. You have two sets. So because you have you have HDMI in and out, so you have two sets of HDMI cables which we are going to open. open. So, set one. And set two. Of course, they've got the uh, caps on them, which is pretty cool. We've also got an uh, AV-Link cable adapter here. This was PS3 users. You realize you need these again. And then here is the... Uh, Cables. Let's take that out. You can see, of course, this all connects here. For the uh, AV cable link. Because this goes into your PS3. Set that aside. And then, you've got USB to uh, your computer. I mean, to your laptop or your computer. Now, a typical Hopag, this is powered separately, so of course you need a separate power source. Pull this aside here. We also have our uh, cables. We have our uh, Hopag uh, info here, August 24. It tells us what to do. Uses ATI graphics board. Use it with ATI graphics board here. PVR. Uses PVR too, so on and so forth. We do have our software CD for uh, software uh, PVR installation guide here it is you. remember keep this if you don't have it and here is our Hapog uh, take a quick look you can see here it will light up this lights it has a LED ring around so it will light up that is the power button very nice clean uh, finish you can see it's got vents at the bottom here uh, the back you can see you've got HDMI in out so and of course your AVI in, USB, and this is your power port. So theoretically, this is what's gonna happen. Xbox in, PS3 in, HDMI out, that's it. So it's Xbox, PS3, you can even label it and put there if you want it. And you have your USB, and that's it. So let's just quickly connect this and show you how it works. This is the connection setup, this is how it will look like. And I'll walk you through it, the whole thing. So of course, again here you have your power port, which is at the farthest here on the left. Um, your USB here is the next one after the power port. This is your PS3 connected with the AV cables provided. HDMI in, and this is your HDMI out. So the very simple thing is you want to plug in your, uh, everything else before you plug in your power port. So we'll actually just unplug this first, and we'll show you. So the whole idea is this, very simple, very basic. And the very out, outside is your HDMI out. This port goes to your TV. So just call this your HDMI to the TV. This will connect from here and go into your TV set. Now, for your Xbox, you are going to use HDMI here. And this is strictly HDMI for your Xbox. And you can actually connect it that way. And your PS3, of course, uses the AV cables. So, let's pull this aside there for a second. Pull it out the AV in now. The AV in, of course, has the AV adapters, which also all provided. 
you connect it you do have the double red and white for audio which connect together and you have the singular cables and this of course goes into your ps3 so if you really look at it this way it's the two middle ports are for your game so this is ps3 xbox and we can simply put ps3 we can then put xbox and then we connect to our tv now of course you still have to actually stream the games out so you have the usb cable here and then our power and ac power in for that end and that's it now if we turn the system around you can see it's blinking because there's nothing connected uh, once you have something connected basically this is your power on and off button this will all light up and while you're gaming uh, it will go through so that's pretty much it um, uh, setup process is easy uh, same as the old uh, bot it's just actually just simpler because you just have HDMI cables and of course your AV cable for your PS3 system is light um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to plug it in test it use it for some gameplay and we'll let you know how well it works we'll probably have a uh, our gameplay with our review video together at the same time and we'll probably do some Call of Duty maybe Madden who knows and we'll give you our thoughts so if you guys have any questions any comments let us know don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter Facebook and YouTube it's all border work with two O's so this is Thundee saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.